This week on HomeKit News, the LifeSmart Human Presence Sensor with Zigbee. So this is another Zigbee hub. Sorry, hold on, this isn't what you came for, is it? What we're actually looking at today is a new product from LifeSmart and something I've been looking forward to trying out for quite a while. Let's get it out the box and give it the once over. So as you can see, it's called the Human Presence Sensor and it's larger than a standard motion sensor, although this isn't a standard product as such. It's mains powered, so no batteries, and as you can also probably make out, this is designed to be recessed like a downlight, hence the two springs on the sides. The front of the device is where the presence sensor is located using millimeter wave technology, which isn't dissimilar to sonar in some ways. And it also contains an ambient light sensor with both sensors being fully exposed to HomeKit. It's smaller than a typical downlight, it's only 45 millimeters deep and 65 millimeters in diameter with the front face measuring just 80 millimeters. We'll come back to the sensor shortly, but let's have a quick look at the hub that the sensor needs to work with, namely the LifeSmart Smart Station. If you've seen the name LifeSmart before, it may be the Color Light Plus tiles they make, although they also have a lot more products which we'll also have a quick look at later. This newer hub supports HomeKit and uses Zigbee, although I'm not sure if it's Zigbee 3 or not, it probably is. Let's have a quick look inside the box, which reveals a HomeKit QR code to show that it's definitely supported an English user manual which I'd advise you to read as the installation is a bit less than standard and the hub itself that you'll need for the present sensor and other LifeSmart devices to both work and get exposed to HomeKit. In addition there's an Ethernet cable as this hub doesn't use Wi-Fi and a coaxial to USB cable although no USB plug is included unfortunately. With the sensor installed here are some of the features within the LifeSmart app. Once pressed, the sensor tile shows the status of the present sensor and ambient light levels. Tapping on motion reveals a couple of bar charts that show when presence was or wasn't detected and for how long. You can zoom in for more details and use the controls on the bottom to focus on a specific period. Quick access to the light sensor is also available on the bottom and as you can see here there's a lot of detail when it comes to ambient light, like maximum and average values. I'm not sure if these would be of much use to the average user, but for those that want this level of detail, it's all here for you. If we now go back a step and hit the settings tab, we then get two options. The first of which is the sensors detection sensitivity, of which there are 10 levels, with 10 being the most sensitive, of course. The scene pattern option offers preset settings for different use cases, including those for toilet, for bedroom, living room, office and hotel, which I assume means either a hotel room or maybe a hotel lobby. These presets have numbers that refer to the detection distances for the three angles it detects presence and motion at. As this sensor can detect presence through low density materials like plasterboard for example, you might want to limit certain detection angles. So as seen here the bathroom preset makes sense as some are quite narrow. Moving on to the home app and although there are no real surprises it's good to see both sensors exposed to HomeKit. Here's the LifeSmart light sensor next to Hugh's own light sensor. Other than showing the looks reading there's nothing really to report although they can be used in automations. Here's a quick look at the presence sensor in the home app which is where I'll do my quick test. Now to make sure it was definitely detecting my presence as opposed to standard motion I placed it in the bathroom with my Hue motion sensor and sat as still as possible for roughly five minutes. As you can see, the Hue motion sensor stopped detecting me, but the presence sensor could detect me in all the time I was there. It wasn't until I got up that the Hue motion sensor once again detected me, so it seems to do exactly what it's meant to. It's called a human presence sensor, but can it discern a human from a pet? It would seem so with this test. Bubble, our two-year-old dog, went into the bathroom, and as you can see in the home app, his presence isn't detected even though the Hue motion sensor did detect him. If I then go into the bathroom, I'm immediately detected. This is probably based on the height and the overall shape of the object detected, but I can't be sure. Is getting yet another hub really worth it? Well, it does depend. As you can see, LifeSmart already offer a lot of products, of which these are only some. So if you're looking to expand your setup or are starting from fresh, LifeSmart may be worth a go. Onto the pros and cons, and if you're not familiar with true presence sensors, 
if you can find them, they really can be quite useful at knowing when somebody's really there, even if they've dozed off, for example. Unlike the Akara FP1, this not only does well with detecting presence, but it's also fast with initial detection too, so it works as a decent motion sensor as well. With all the presets and sensitivity adjustments available, you really can fine tune this to make it work well. With the included light sensor, it does take things a step further, and because it's exposed to HomeKit, you don't have to rely on LiveSmart to use it. The recessed fitting isn't something for everyone, of course, but if you have a light fitting of a similar size you can do without, then this could work out well. The only negative here is that for whatever reason, the presence sensor takes up to 90 seconds to reset back to no detection, which is a little long to be honest, especially since you can't adjust it. Other than that, I've actually been really impressed with it, especially after a slight disappointment with the Akara offering. That's our overview of the LifeSmart Human Presence Sensor, but if you have any questions or comments, you know what to do. Please like, share and subscribe, not necessarily in that order. And until next time, stay safe and take a trip to your nearest island, unless you already live on one, of course.